What's up? Viber TV, Viber TV, man. We in the building, man. We got the one and only man himself, man. Foot Soldier, man. How you feeling, young Foot Soldier? How's everything going? I'm chilling, bro. What's up with it today, man? Man, we good, man. We in the building. <laughs> How you been, though, man? I'm chilling, man. Staying out the way. Okay, okay, definitely. So, life been cool? I'm only 17, don't get it confused. Let's start right off with that, you know? <laughs> Let's start right off the bat with that. So was you, you so you really 17, right? No, I'm 18. Oh. I just turned 18. June you said 20. I just turned 18. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now you're 18. Okay. Yeah, 18. <laughs> Shit, man, how was that? You know, how you, you know, how was that been, you know, how'd you, you know, been, how's that been coming along? Just, you know, turning 18, feeling any different? I feel good. <laughs> uh, where you know you originally from? Just Southwest Washington D.C. James Creek, First Street. Okay, Southwest Washington D.C. First okay. Street. James First Street. Street. James Street. Okay. King Greenway Playground. Okay. How was it like growing out there? Regular. Good. Okay. Okay. The name Foot Soldier, you know, kinda <laughs> kinda just replicated, you know. Where you know, where you kinda I would say where'd you kinda break down that name from the originally any you know? Right, let me tell you. I mean band though, I mean big band though. Okay, okay. I like it's uh just as far as like a third, you know, I think the thirty seventh you know, I know there's a few you know of that area. I know you got a uh, you know neighborhood, you got a few artists that sure, you know, pretty uh close holes. Well, how did that you know relationship come up? Was it like kind of a childhood thing? Yeah, this shit been locked up for a long time, yeah. Everybody, freedom men, man. Nah, yeah, yeah. All my men ain't out here. Free all my men. It's only a couple of us. So, you know, it's a little shit that I have to do. Okay. Mostly like a childhood, like, you know, you guys just all started making music together, right? Everybody just, I feel like everybody. Everybody been knew each other, not even off the rock. So, right, we're politicians. Um, do you, uh, you know, speaking of music, do you consider music, uh, I would say drill music, or do you consider it more so like just like hip hop with like, like more so like just sneaky, I would say trap beats? Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you feel you do different from, uh, you know, like from my, I would say like, you know, uh, uh, other like DMV artists I have you stand up? Just got my own flow. Just myself, yeah. I got my own flow. I don't rap like nobody else. Sound like myself. I got my own sound. Just you, like you know, on a daily basis, like do you, um, do you feel like do you, uh, you pay attention to like blogs or like you know media and things like that, or like you don't kind of like pay attention and you just more f so like focus on uh, on yourself on a daily basis. Let me try not to. I mean, what are some like, uh, you know, as far as like the blogs and media, what are some rumors you feel like you had to like clear up if you had to clear it right now? Man, these niggas keep talking about I got robbed. Stop playing with me out here. <laughs> Fuck all these niggas against this shit. The niggas keep saying all oh, of this happening. Ain't nothing happening. Just living my 
18 years old life. Sure. I don't bring on no violence. I'm a free man, man. Man, you dropping back to back to back to back to back, you know, so uh, I like that, you know, BPP uh, seems to be one of your like more so like favorite songs, you know, uh, as far as everybody's know, as far as even numbers as well, you know, what was like the making of uh, BPP? Man, I was Roddy was right, my man Roddy was right, my man Keith. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Anti sent me that beat. I had my man Josh right there. Doesn't listen to the I man, put this in here. Yeah, the Mind you, we probably like 14 deep in the joint. Free my man, Bad is free, all my man. Uh, my man, Bad so I made the joint. I just, I don't know where I came over there. Yeah, I'm just thinking about Biggie, Tupac. I know I'm thinking about Buddy at the time. I'm just like, yeah, I do that. Big, I do that. And then it just went together. I'm like, oh, yeah. So we went together. And he said, go ahead. This is a song for all the men. I made the song based off, like, who's around me at the moment type shit. Like, everybody who's right there in my face, yeah, man, I put them in the song for a <laughs> Three dollars in my hand. Three D bro. I mess with my phone with that. I don't know, though. BPP part two. Yeah, that's right. Probably like 30 minutes. Part one took me way longer. I seen you know, pretty going on TikTok as well, you know, and the blog and things like that. So, like, how was, uh, were we, like, coming to the TikTok times or were those things that were just kind of already being made? Yeah, it was, like, already being made. Like, people were sending to me. That's what I'm saying. I really love the youth, man. Like, the youth really support me. Like, I hear the youth. I don't know, like, I got their support system for sure. I don't know, it's just different. Tape coming soon, man. I dropped this tape a couple hours or a couple days or something. I don't know. Most of them. Uh, where that uh the, the song Jeffrey uh Jeffrey guys title come from? Uh, man, I don't know, like, um, me, it's a real wild story to be behind every song. Me, motherfucking my right hand man Joe, my Sam Martin man band, I forgot what it was. I don't know, it was like, it just came up from what I said in the song and shit off the top, so I was like, right, and that mic's a wild fight. Like, man, I ain't mad. I call his name Jeffrey, guys, and this was at the time when, you know, the nigga Jeffrey Dahmer with the movie, he was doing that wild shit. I figured, I was just about to ask, did they have anything to do with the man, Jeffrey? These niggas is weird, because a lot of these niggas be in ads. I <laughs> <laughs> ain't no face. Making some views of the night. Ain't gonna drive. Eating Chick fil A, making views. Smoking that one. Would you like Chick fil A or McDonald's better? Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Hey, you nasty boy. Chick fil A every day. McDonald's. I can eat Chick fil A. That's why you got chicken sandwiches over there. Yeah, you know that. I got you. Uh, what? You gotta eat it. Come on, man. I'd rather that than a fucking cheeseburger from McDonald's. I'd rather a chick play sandwich with a cheeseburger in the day. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. You told me I got it. We gonna make it fly. My team. Who's your, uh, who's your favorite producer to work on the DMV? Man. Can I name three people? Yeah. Top three. Let's go with that. Chicho, Anti, Josh, the Keys. Nah, I got names. Cause me and my man got it. And Alexander, that's my motherfucker, bro. And Alexander got over one of the songs with each other. 
That's my question. Fuck number one. That's number one right there. Alright, so. Yeah, shit like that. Now I'm from with him. Alright, son. Chicho. God, he made it. Jew two times. Double R. J. Keys. The whole Petro game. Right. Shit locked in. Grim. Butter. Everybody. Shit. I be fucking with everybody though, like, nigga send me some beats that I get on nigga beats. Oh yeah, my man Try Money Big, he ain't even from here, he from on the other side. I fuck with him, my man, he gave me that UK beat. Shit, y'all be different. Shout out to my man. Out in Amsterdam. Um, I see, yeah, DMV definitely does have a, you know, a very unique sound, you know, and all the producers definitely, you know, doing an amazing job of, uh, you know, definitely producing to that, you know, uh, you know, kind of just speaking, just, you know, uh, you know, how would you say you would approach the industry, you know, uh, just, you know, getting to that, you know, as far as taking that, uh, that the, the, the next step forward, how would you say you want to approach the industry, like, like, do you want to approach it as far as, like, being, you know, like living the full life of rap style, do you want to approach it like on some like, you know, just lay back, you know, yeah, get a, you know, get a, get, get you a, you know, situation, family, you know, something like that, or you want to approach it like, yeah, you said. I'm going to have me a big old gigantic family. What's for soldier day to day drip, man? What's your shout out them brands? What's your day to day drip, man? Let's let's get some brands out. And um, Mary. No limits. I be following a lot of damn be clothing brands. Mm -hmm. I catch me in my monkey suit. Got that all black on. That monkey suit on. Monkey suit's the brand? Nah, monkey suit. They're all black on the. Okay. Monkey suit. You said you won't graduate, so like, do you like school? Like, what, like, what you, what's it like school like for you? Know, like a day like in school, like, you know, do you go to class? What's your favorite class? Do you plan on going to college? Like, you after with the music, or you just plan on? I'm doing online school. Online school. Yeah. Love, love school, man. Love school. Love online school. I got finished school. My mother. My mother. My everybody I love. By law, I got finished for everybody. I would. To the person that I really love the most. Nah, though. The day in life, and with me in school, I be chilling, bro. I do my work and all. I'm a real, I'm a real student. You probably think I'm not, so I'm pretty sure you might agree. What made you get that tattoo? Hey, nah, fuck, you gotta get on the job when you're Which one? Uh, the tattoo on your, uh, on your face. What's, what made you get that tattoo? On my neck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you get that tattoo on your neck? I had long day of cure. I got a cure on me. That's my cousin. His cousin that died. Um, one of my friends stoned. I got stoned on me. I got a broken heart on me. I'm Lloyd. I'm going to stand my loyalty. I'm going to stand my loyalty. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to get the rest of my neck here. Okay. I'm going to carry this song right here. Watch this shit. I think you... You said something about you got a project coming up, right? Yeah, it was one of it. I'm about to carry this shit. I'm telling y'all, young fuck guys, guys. Man, look here. Joe, I tell you, we been working, boy. We been working. Look at them. 
studio every day. Every night. Leaving that. Nine in the morning and shit. You know what I mean? Two o'clock in the evening the next day. You got any artists, you know, influencing your work right now, you know, as far as like outside of like just music and I mean hip-hop, I would say. Three little bucks. I work with my man, little bucks, man. It's really the energy. It's just around the area. Do you feel like neighborhoods being around each other, you know, close and just kind of, uh, do you feel like I would say it's easier or say it, 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 it would be easier or harder, kind of like place like New York, Chicago, even the DMV, you know, do you play, feel like a place like those, uh, what caused the crime rates? Do you feel like it's because, like, somehow, uh, as far as being like, you no know, uh, people just kind of being you no know, different neighbors being too close? Should happen everywhere. Yeah, anything can happen right, anywhere. Just can't be around the wrong people. Stay to yourself. Stay to yourself. You got a team. Build with your team. Stay with your team. Nothing go wrong if you build the right team.